it's a fair catch, and the Skyhawks will start at the 25-yard line. And, and one of the best performances in SEC history. You just saw Jalen Hyatt on the field to start this game, and Hooker's throwing on the first play, and it is past the 30-yard line for a pickup of six on the play. That's the 220th that he just tried. On third and five, Hooker's going to throw the deep ball. Hyatt is down there, and he makes the catch. This ball kind of floated out of Hinton Hooker's hand. It really hung up there for a long time. O'Shea Baker wanted to get a little offensive P.I. And the quick game, catch made inside the 20. As Ramel Keaton, who's done a great job spelling Cedric Tillman off of the injury, six catches, five going for touchdowns in that football game. Just sensational. And look at this hole. First and goal for the balls as Small goes straight up the gut. That is not at an empty possession in here. And they don't hear either. Touchdown, Tennessee. It's Jamari Small. Talked about the proficiency in the red zone. They throw to get down there close, but the Volunteers, they run to score their touchdowns. Hooker all day to throw. Wide open receiver inside the five and down to the two goes Keaton. Until they get into situational football. Hooker under center gives to the fullback and it's a touchdown for the Vols. That's big Princeton fan, the tight end slash fullback. And the senior has another touchdown. About Tennessee, they run the football in the red zone. Just get behind the right side of your eyes go in a different direction though and it's picked off intercepted William Wright stepped in front of that wind throw and the sophomore from Nashville gives the ball back to the balls he gets up underneath this route Colton Dowell was going to have to pivot gave up the pass earlier with the big interception and now it's Jalen Wright who comes into the game a sophomore from Durham to get the carry Wright lead led going into the game trying to run a zone second and 14 hooker in trouble and he sacked back at the 40. ford was in there and so was carson evans you have to find a way to affect Hendon hooker hooker doesn't like what he sees he takes off he's got a room to run it's a first down inside the 20. So an untimed down on the 14th play of the drive on a first and goal inside the nine. Hooker throws to the end zone and finishes the quarter with a touchdown strike to keep. We talked about how proud they've been with Ramel Keaton's play. You can see why. Finally got the nod versus Tennessee Tech. He was saying, this system is just a matter of time, guys. And now he's the trigger man. A reverse, no bueno. That was blown up immediately. Hooker at the 42. Starts with a fresh set of downs and all sorts of options to throw a good ball across the middle to Hyatt. Inside the 40 to the 39 for 19 more. And this one is crushed right through there. Bama, Mississippi State at 7, A&M, and the Gamecocks all at 7.30. So, a oh, fumble. On the first play, Sam Franklin coughs it up and gives it right back to the balls. Great job coming up, just raking that ball out. Trayvon Flowers was the one that got it out of there. Two tacklers miss. On second and one, breaking tackles. There he goes again. Jalen Hyatt back in the checkerboards. Last year he was a speed guy. See Ravel Keaton out there. Look, he's got to run through a tackle. He got it well defended. It wasn't as if there was a ton of room. You bring both those guys in, it's a condensed formation for short yards. To the end zone, touchdown, Tennessee, it's Keaton again.
Ty Woods in coverage came up earlier and made a great play. Tennessee scored on all six possessions. This half and Hooker, Scott, a wide open receiver again, catching it like a punt inside the 20 is Keaton. Excuse me, make that white. Busted coverage right away and again. This ball hung up there for a long time. The coverage was so blown. After that epic performance against Alabama last week. Running play and a touchdown. 11 yards for Fant, his second rushing touchdown of the day. You lose the starting job to someone else, but you just look else elsewhere, go play somewhere else. This is a backwards pass, and Fant's got Hyatt. Here he goes again. Joe Milton, I'm going, hey man, well, I could have thrown this. See Hyatt juggled his way, caught that ball about three times. It's up in the end zone. Double pass with a huge lead made even larger. Milton's got all day, and there's an open receiver. Down to the 35-yard line is Jimmy Holiday. And he's wide open so early. He kind of double clutches this pass. We saw Jalen Hyatt, his touchdown reception. 38-yard catch for Holiday. Just his third of the year. Hooker's got all day again. Why not go through the route tree to the end zone and to the one? Get up over the ball quickly. There goes Sampson into the end zone for his fourth touchdown of the season. So it's 58-7 after Sampson's touchdown. Here they go. And it's a first down. And it's Sampson free down inside the 25. Well, you commit to the line of scrimmage. You've got to make plays. Connor Evans can't make it. Did she get past him? Rather, it was John Ford. Hooker and Milton roommates in college this year. Wide open is Squirrel. Touchdown, Tennessee. 64 yards for the true freshman. Joe Milton got that arm warmed up earlier on a deep ball. Put it to good use on that one. You know, otherwise, you're hard-pressed to find an offensive performance that would concern you from Tennessee. They'd Jackson better. runs, and look at the moves. First down into UT Martin territory for the freshman from Greenwood into India. And they're going to let Gaston Moore throw it to the end zone, and it's intercepted on the last play of the game as Ty Woods gets the interception. And Tennessee wins the game 65 to 24 on homecoming. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.